Hello, my name is Stephen Kelman. Today I want to talk a little bit about character and paragraph styles in Adobe InDesign. It's an area that can cause a bit of confusion, so it's probably worth a closer look. Now, to put it simply, a paragraph style is your chosen paragraph and character formatting attributes saved as reusable settings, otherwise known as style sheets, to save time and ensure consistency. Now, a character style is similar, although only applies to individual characters, words, and phrases. We tend to use character styles much less than paragraph styles. Now, I'm going to try and expand on this a little in this video. I'll be working with the CV and resume layouts I created for InDesign, and you can download these via the links below this video. Now, You'll see I've got paragraph styles applied to all my copy here, except the additional information column on the right hand side. Now, the first thing I want to do when I've got some unstyled text is to show hidden characters. To do that, we go to type, show hidden characters, or command option I. When we do that, you'll be able to see two different types of symbol at the end of each of our paragraphs. You'll notice in the unstyled text on the right hand side, we have these soft returns. Soft returns generally cause problems when we're typesetting. If they're not intentional, that is. If you don't have any hard returns in your text, InDesign will think that your entire text is one paragraph. Now to format paragraphs and create paragraph styles, you'll need to be working with hard returns. We could re remove our soft returns and replace with hard returns manually, or we could simply find and change. So let's go ahead and find and change. So we'll copy our soft return here, edit, find and change. Let's paste that in there, it's already been done. Let's copy a hard return, that's how we do it. Let's select that. Make sure it's just the selection and we'll change all. That's us. So now our text is ready to be styled. Now we are working with one typeface, one point size and one leading size in this text box. Our typeface is Neue Haas Unica. So let's change that from a character panel. It's a regular weight. And our point size is 8.5. and our leading is 10. For this demonstration, we're all aligning to our baseline grid. See my modular baseline grid tutorial to see how you could set one of these up. Now aligning to the baseline grid is a paragraph attribute. So we open our paragraphs panel and click align to baseline grid in the bottom right of our window. And we also want to turn off hyphenation in this design. So let's go ahead and turn it off there, bottom left of that same window. And already you can see our column has taken shape. Now, as our additional information text, title text, and body copy text is now separated by hard returns, we are able to make paragraph styles for each, making it easy to replicate a large, across a larger document if that was our intention. So let's go ahead and create our paragraph style from the for the additional information header. You'll see from the experience and education headers that this style has a rule above and a space after. So that's what we're looking to replicate. To create the rule, we select that paragraph. So this one here, uh, we, we select the paragraph we want the style applied to. Then we go into the paragraphs panel then we go into paragraph rules or it's command option J. Command option J would be the fast way to do that. And then we go to rule above on. Let's set that to 0 0.25 to match our other headline headers. And let's make offset that by 10 points. To get our space after, we select our paragraph again. And then go to paragraphs panel. Then in the space after, we put in 10 point. So now we have our 
additional information paragraph exactly as we want. So we can go ahead and create an individual paragraph style. So we click on the paragraph styles panel. Let's go to top right, new paragraph style. Let's call this test one. You'll notice that it's carried over all the attributes we've just put in. So font, style, size, leading, and spacing, it's all there. So we go ahead and save that. You notice we've now got our test one style there. So if we wanted to replicate that, we could go ahead and simply apply that. So let's go ahead and just finish that column off like the other ones. So I think this one, we are working to header style E. This text is body copy text. This is header style E again. And again, this is body copy text. And then this is header style E. So that's us there. Now what we've not covered is the character styles panel. Compared to the paragraph styles panel, the character styles panel gets used much less. This is where you could save a distinct style to be applied to just one character or one piece of text or phrase within a paragraph. This could be a separate URL, or it could be a style for colored bullet points or an individual style for drop caps and more editorial work. So let's go ahead and select one word here. So let's select content there and let's change that to italics. Let's change that to orange. And then let's go ahead and save that as a style. So we'll call that test two. So that's us got our separate character style now that we could then go in and change other pieces of text too. I think that's it for now. Um, please like and subscribe to support this channel and also to follow future content. Thanks again.